What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the shed. This episode is going to be a little collection of fastening type uh, th theme here, with the centerpiece being this Makita subcompact cordless SDS. This is a SDS Plus. It is brushless. It is lithium ion, as is all the power tools today. But this, this, what's special about this is two things. Two things I really like about this. It's really tiny, and it's all black. <laughs> I'm a big fan of black. I have a Buick Grand National. My motorcycle's black. My scooter was black. I had a black truck. My toolbox is black. <laughs> if it comes in black, I usually get it. Um, and not like that really matters with power tools whatsoever. But it is cool. Makita is the one company that's going with all black. Their subcompact line is all black, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, if you're a big heavy metal fan, <laughs> uh, you you know you're gonna want some of these Makita subcompacts. Um, so. Pretty much the extent of my use of this is I, I used it for uh, a good entire entire day and most of the next day um, just mounting conduit and boxes to concrete walls in a warehouse. It was a tilt up warehouse, solid concrete walls, and um, I had the little Tapcon size bit. I think it's a 3 16 for the blue uh, metal screws or uh, the, the concrete screws. And uh, this thing kicked ass. It was really, uh, it was kind of a joy to use because it was so light and it was so small. Um, I have another cordless SDS that's capable of a lot bigger bits and a lot, uh, you know, more torque and everything. But if you want something easy to wield and something easy to pick up and uh, if you're going to be doing it all day and you're going to be using smaller fasteners, this, I think this is the way to go, especially if you're already in the Makita battery platform. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about it at all. Um, so far, so good. Um, it does have, you got the, the rubber grip here rubber handled grip and it's adjustable to any angle left-handed right-handed built into that is your depth rod here so if you need a certain depth for some uh, some kind of metal drop-in anchors or lead anchors and they got to be a specific depth you can dial that in right here as soon as this hits your wall you know you're good you got two settings here uh, you got hammer hammer and spin and then just spin which uh, I found helpful if you're trying to get all the way through a concrete panel Put it on, and you know the depth, and you're you're you know how deep you are in the hole. Um, you can flip it to just spin, and that last little bit, um, it it's not going to blow out as bad on the other side. If you know you drill straight through concrete, it blows out the last you know quarter inch or so or eighth of an inch. It blows out like a chunk of concrete, and uh, if you flip it to that setting, a little tip, it it, it could it minimize it. It makes it less because it's not hammering that blowout. You're just spinning. Um, if that's a concern, because, you know, a lot of times that is. One side or the other, or both sides are finished, and maybe the other side's not getting covered up with anything, so you want to minimize that uh, blowout. But I've been pretty happy with it, and um, I did get a chance to use this crazy bit, this Bosch bit here. No flutes. It's got no flutes, and it's got this goofy plastic thing on here. What's going on? <laughs> and this is... One of their new line of uh, vacuuming attachment bits. It's got no flutes because the extraction is done through this little hole right here. It's got a little hole right there and a little hole right there and the shaft is hollow which aligns with some slots in the uh, in the bit here and I don't know if we'll be able to see this or not. Probably not. But uh, this is where you attach your vacuum and it comes with this adapter if you have a bigger vacuum. And um, these bits are great for um, any kind of epoxied anchors or um, an anchor where you would need to suck the hole out. <laughs> you need to get all the dust out of it before installing your anchor. This doesn't leave any dust in the hole or around the hole. So it's keeping you clean as you're doing it. Also, it complies, you know, it helps you comply with the dust, uh, the new Do OSHA dust, you know, silica uh, regulations that they have. There's no dust involved with it. Um, it is a weird thing to see this plunging into material and no dust build up at the hole. It is really a weird thing, but it's really cool. It's just, it's just this smooth shaft going in there and no dust is coming out. So, um, I did, this was the appropriate, this half inch, uh, bit here was the appropriate size for some anchors for a, uh, generator. They had a small generator to mount and put the rubber pads under the feet and uh, use this to set the anchors on the generator and it worked like a champ. Um, it, you do need to use the vacuum with it. If not, it has no way to extract the dust and it'll get all clogged up and it'll start, you know, it'll start um, stressing your, your, your tool. Whoop. 
Not less stress than just knocking it over though. So uh, they make these in a whole bunch of sizes, and uh, if you have to, you know, if dust extraction is an important thing, I think these are really cool. Um, and they all come with this plastic, all this plastic bits here. They, that comes attached to the bit. You don't have to, like, piece them together. You know, they always come like that. So, um, yeah, these are, these are, these. like I said, it's a weird thing to watch this thing go down into some concrete and no dust pile up around the hole. Also, to drill into concrete... I have this Bosch five-piece impact ha uh, shanked, impact rated, what are these called? The uh, Daredevil carbide-tipped bits. So you have a, uh, what is this, five thirty-seconds, three-sixteenths, quarter-inch, five-sixteenths, and three-eighths. And you wouldn't think that an impact would do too well with, you know, a carbide-tipped masonry bit, but... Um, it, it does it work surprisingly well, and you can chuck these into a regular drill with hammer attachment, but you can also put them in an impact. They're impact rated, and everybody's got impact. So if you just need to blast a couple holes, uh, it's not going to be as fast as in, in, you know if you were using an SDS. But if you just need to like set a couple of those blue concrete screws, um, they work great. Um, I, I what, which one? I only tested one of them out. I think it was this one. Yeah, the, 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 this this one for the uh, concrete screws. Um, it worked great. I was really surprised at how well a just an impact because the higher RPM and the impact You know is doing a lot of the work. You're not really getting any hammering. You're just pushing on it But um, I was I was pretty surprised at uh, impact Masonry bits so Check those out and the last thing I've been using here is these Makita impact gold bits um, I haven't used the Torx obviously but they say these are T25s, uh, which I don't really come across using a whole lot. Um, these are impact rated and 60 times, last 60 times longer. Um, I don't know what they're thinking over there at Makita, because if they last 60 times longer, uh, that's just less you're going to sell. <laughs> but you also want to put out a good product, I guess. <clears throat> I've been using these number two uh, Robertson square tips, uh, just one of these. Just been using it on... Um, outlets and receptacles pop this in my impact wrap the screw around all of the uh, screws on a lot of the screws and uh, electrical devices have a uh, Robertson square tip uh, bit that you can use it'll, it'll usually be like a flat head of Phillips with a square tip in the middle so you can use almost anything but this, if it's that size uh, kind of fastener the square tip is the one you want to use because it gets the it gets the most torque it doesn't slip out cam out as much as uh, a Phillips would <clears throat> I've been pretty happy with them. They uh, they really have not rounded off at all. And I've used this one, one of these, yeah, I've used this one a lot. And there's like barely any wear on the end of that. And is that the one? I can't even tell the difference because the, like, the one the one has been in the impact for a while. No, it's this one actually. I couldn't tell the difference. Okay. It hasn't cammed out. They've been working great for me. Like I said, I don't, I know, I, I think uh, Trex decking. Uh, they like to use Torx for some of their fasteners a lot, or any of the, the composite decking material. Um, a lot of different situations that use the T25. Not really in my line of work, but I do use the number two Robertsons a lot. So that's it. The uh, the Makita, the Bosch, the new line of uh, sucking, <laughs> awesome sucking drill bits. Uh, and then you have these impact rated carbide tipped bits here. And then the Makita's, uh, which doesn't really go with anything here, neither neither do these. But uh, the Impact Golds, I um, I think I'm going to try their Phillips tips. The next time I need to get some Phillips bits, I'm going to see how the Phillips do. So that's it. I'm going to put links for all this in the description, and uh, thanks for watching.